Weird sounds occur as the hounds have been released. Oh no. <laughs> you all step through. You all step through and suddenly it looks like everything is all black and white. You've got like swirly um, hypnotic things in the background and the voice says, Welcome to the Twilight Zone. Oh, oh. oh dear. Not again. <laughs> Quick, Anna, you're a vampire. <laughs> oh no. You'll do amazingly in Twilight. Okay, so, um, has anybody played Transylvania for the Apple II, by the way? No. No. Great, no. you guys are all gonna love this level. You end up, you all fall, 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 and then smash into the ground, and you you land by a stump in the woods. It's a magic basement. Magic! Okay, so, um, you're at the stump by the woods, it's just kind of a boring stump, and it is a crossroads. So you can go in three directions. You can go west to the lake, east to the cave, and to the north we have more woods uh, followed by what looks like some sort of a uh, house. And Dennis. And Dennis? North, south, east, and Dennis. It's a reference. Okay, minus one for confusing me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm the harshest master ever. Okay, so... um. Master Milo says, Ladies, we need to go in one of these three directions because they are the only directions we can go in. That makes sense. Good job. Uh, okay. Let's go to the house. You Okay, you guys want to go north to... Uh... I agree. I said the house. Yeah, house is good. Okay, north. That works. I said it first, though. <laughs> okay, okay, Christina. <laughs> you said it first. So he gets... Uh, let's give him another point. <laughs> Right. You're in like last place with three though, so don't 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 get too confident there, Jetty. Yes. Race you to the house. North. Okay, so inside the woods you, you're you're going along the path and you see a crappy little hut. It's oh. kind of a crappy hut. An old man is standing outside of it whining. Uh is anybody gonna say anything to the old man? Hi. Um, uh, this is horrible. Oh, my life is over. The world is gonna end. Boo hoo, boo hoo. Uh, uh. Oh, what's, what's your problem? Oh, what's my problem? What's my problem? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trapped here in these crappy woods inside the uh, basement. That's my problem. Oh, and sucks. the woods are haunted by all sorts of evil monsters. We've got vampires and werewolves and wizards that sing Broadway show tunes. I, I mean, that sounds awesome. Yeah, that, that part sounds pretty that cool. That actually sounds awesome. Yeah, that's uh, one of the random events. You might run into him. Um, cool. <laughs> can, we, can we trigger that? <laughs> you can try to use... I mean, you can sacrifice... No, it's okay. It's not worth it. It's not worth it because I'd fail. What I happens is there are six different random events, and you would roll, and whichever number you got would be that random event which occurred. Yeah, no, oh. my odds are not that good. <laughs> I'll, I'll wait. <laughs> okay, so... Um, and he says, to top it all off, the chosen one, the chosen one, is indecisive. Wait, what chosen one? The chosen one, the chosen one, the most beautiful woman in all the world, Bella. Oh, dear God. She is the only... I turn around and walk a little bit in the opposite direction because I can't take that. <laughs> she is the only one <laughs> who can stop the war between the werewolves and the vampires. Not uh, this crap again. What, what can we do about this? He, he, he... I mean, is whoever wins, I mean... Does at least one of those, uh, at least the werewolves, the vampires are gone. So either way, we win, right? <laughs> no offense, Anna. <laughs> <Sorry. sighs> okay, so the old man says, perhaps you can, you can, you can, you can help her. You can help her. Yes, yes. Oh yeah, I can. I'll, I'll, I'll beat some sense into her. Your, your girls. <laughs> you know, you know how girls work, right? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, she's kind of weird, but. I could try. <laughs> okay, so the crazy old man steps aside and lets you go inside his uh, crappy little hut. Is anyone coming with me, or is it just me? Yeah, who wants to go with I'll you? I'll go with you. Who wants to come with me? I, you might want to come with me. Let's just all come in. I'll go with you. Probably okay, cool. Do we all okay. fit? Yeah, you, That's an important uh, question. Do we all fit? <laughs> it's, yeah. it's a very empty hut. There's um, there's a small bed in the corner. Um, um, there is, what do you call it, a deer head mounted on the wall. With um, suspicious-looking antlers, and um, there's a girl named Bella who is crying. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh no, Maid Maid Bob is BRB. Huh? Oh no, that's not good. 
Okay, well, I guess we'll just have to continue without him. He decided, or Mate Bob decided not to go inside. He he is staying outside. Okay, so what are you guys, what are you maids going to do in the house? Uh, I'm uh, going to go do, talk to the wrong chick. I'm going to inspect the suspicious looking antlers. Okay, yeah, you, in, you inspect the suspicious looking antlers. Um, they look like they were added on at a later date. They were not part of the original, uh, whatever you call it. Mounting construction. Thing. Yeah, but it was not part of the original um, deer thing. Oh. Mhm. Mm okay. Weird. Uh, yep. Can I try to pull on them? Okay, so you pull on the antlers, and um, a sliding door appears. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Fancy. Revealing a uh, brand new room. I, uh, I I go, I go inside. Okay, so this room, um, it has, um, it's also kind of an empty room in the actual game. Uh, um, <laughs> it's an old game. It costs a lot of money to actually draw things in rooms. <laughs> there is a wizard's cloak on the floor. Ooh. Oh. And that's, that's about it. This is the wizard's yeah. secret room. I'll pick up the wizard's cloak. Cool. Um, you pick up the wizard's cloak and, um... A card falls out of it, and if you guys will give me a minute, I can actually look up the contents of the card. Is this actually pertinent to what we're doing, then? It has nothing to do with what you're doing, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, we like um, getting sidetracked. I'll just made Bob is back. Bob! We have missed you. I, uh, the, the house was... So small, I got claustrophobic, and I had to step outside to breathe. What happened? <laughs> we found a wizard's cloak, and we just got sidetracked. Yeah, like, That's I went it. into a secret room that doesn't have anything to do with the actual uh, course of our own game. Where's the master doing all of this? The master is, um, he's chilling out with, because he's not a woman, so he was not invited inside, so he's oh, just... Oh, <laughs> That's not the old man. He is just uh, is he... chilling with the crazy old guy, and, you know... So wait, does the crazy old guy have a beard? The crazy old guy does not have a beard. Oh, yeah. okay. But, you know... Because he was... Yeah. They're, they're talking about beards and things like that. Okay. And how they wish they had beards. I yeah. really do wish they had beards. What are we trying to do again? <laughs> Uh, Michael Save the world using beards. Okay, tell you what, I'm still looking online for the card which came with the manual for the Transylvania game, and I haven't found anything, so in the meantime, let's just go forward with the conversation with the crying woman. Okay, so, um, who wanted to talk to the uh, crying girl? Does anyone want to talk to her with me? I will. I'm in the other room. Anna, Anna and I will do it. Okay, what's up? Oh, boo hoo, boo hoo, boo hoo, hoo 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 She's crying. I don't know who I love more. Uh, that's that's a problem. I mean, I can't really help yeah. you. You tell me what's going on. So. Hi. I mean, I love two men. Two men. I love I love little Jakey and um um uh, whoever the other one is. Little Eddie. Eddie. I love them both. They're so. They're so hu humongously pretty and fantastic. Uh, that's um. unfortunate, I guess. Uh, you need to, like, you need to pick, though, because it's, it's not fair, and you, you know you're going to cause, like, a war, right? I know, yeah. but I can't, I can't do, that's, that's the problem, that's the problem. If, if I pick one, the other guy is going to be rejected, and then the vampires are going to declare war on the werewolves, and the werewolves declare war on the vampires, and I, I have no idea what's happening. Hey, Anna, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna do something um, about the vampires? You can, you're a vampire, you can. I can, if, hmm, I don't know, these guys are completely different. Maybe. Oh, that's that's. I mean, I guess. We I could try. Them. I could we try and get them to talk. To them. Yeah, I could Maybe. probably talk them out of going to war because of a girl. You, you, you could do that. Maybe, Maybe. I don't know. Probably. Can oh. You have any solution oh. for us? So she gives she gives you um a giant hug. Wait, both of us or just Anna? She gives both of you a giant hug, and uh, okay, oh. let's. No. no. <laughs> Let's do, a, let's do a let's do a luck roll. <laughs> okay. 
You got a four. Okay. Other person? Um, I got a one. You got a one. Okay, so, Diana, she gives you a big hug, and Anna, she gives you a huge kiss on the lips. Ew! Oh, God! That's what you get Whoa. for not having a lot of luck. Uh, yeah, okay, that was super that... awkward. Okay, no. Back off. I, I, push, I push the girl back down and sit her on the chair. And just, like, back away Back slowly. away slowly. Okay, so, she is, um... She's happy, because you guys have agreed you will talk to these people and figure out which guy is the hottest guy. Okay, but before before we do that, do you have any do you have any information for us about this, uh... uh what, what are we trying to find again, Anna? Trying to find the <laughs> amulet piece? Yeah, yeah, do you have any information about that? I don't know anything. Like, do you know any guys with all spirits? Yeah, you know, I know too many guys. That's my problem. Oh. Okay, no, seriously. Do you know any guys with cool beards? Not really. Oh, well, that's a problem. All right. Well, thanks anyway. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can do about that. So just, you know, don't do not do anything stupid. Because you seem to have a habit of yeah. doing that. You just sit in the chair and just don't do anything. Except Six breathing. Hours. That's important. Okay. Okay, Anna, Just keep go. thinking about <laughs> guys you might know. <laughs> Yeah, and if you remember anything, just come find us. Yeah. Alright, so, um, I'm sorry, Miss Jigilara, but I can't really find the, uh, the, the piece of paper. It, um, the card which came with the game was actually a business card for, um, the wizard who sings show tunes. Oh. And he says if you sing the proper show tune, he is actually going to appear and help you out. And give you a magical cross which will kill vampires. So should I roll a luck roll and see if I can get this guy? Um, you can roll a luck roll. Wait to figure it out, thirty. Sir. Figure roll out, up. figure out the, uh, figure out the tune. Figure okay. out the tune. Do it. Yeah. Uh, I got a three. You got a three. Let's see if I can beat that. I also got a three. Reroll. Oh. Uh. Oh. I got a five. I got a one. Okay. So. Yeah. Um. Three words in the, in the title. Of, oh, sorry. Okay, wait, hold on. I got this. Oh, three words in the title starts with some. Wait, some? Oh. Can we roll another luck roll to get more than that? Nope, I'm not. I'm, I'm not going to allow it. Oh. And in fact, I'm getting tired of this, so I'm getting bored. Oh. I'm going to do a random event to distract you oh, all. Is it, oh. it going to be <laughs> the <laughs> Shirtoon's <laughs> Wizard? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Random event number one. Bigfoot appears, and he tries oh. to marry uh, Maid Christina. Oh. Uh, I get jealous, and I rush in, and I say, you should marry me instead. I just watch in confusion. I, yeah. I tell Bigfoot that that's okay, because I love the master. Bigfoot says, then he, you know, he, he gives um, Maid Christina Christina a big, big hug. Oh, how sweet! Okay, Christina. I appreciate uh, that, Bigfoot, but it's gonna have to be platonic. <laughs> <laughs> Bigfoot gets angry and slaps you. Ooh. Oh, oh! Ouch! Wouldn't that like break your neck? That's a love slap. But still, it's a love slap from Bigfoot. His feet are big, not his hands. But still, he's <laughs> big. Do you want Christina Probably to take damage from this? I'm just, I'm just pointing out that he's big. That's all. That's all. I'm done. Okay, fine. Then, uh, Christina. Yeah, no, 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 don't hurt Christina. Christina, make a roll for um a, a save from this <laughs> attack. That's okay, good, I yeah. will use my uh. My will to withstand the attack and make one of my own with my bazooka. Okay. Oh. I got a five. You got a five, okay. Okay, wow, okay, he got a one, so... Bye, Bigfoot. So you pull out your bazooka, you do 11 damage to Bigfoot, and that's it, Bigfoot goes away. Bigfoot leaves, Bigfoot has had enough, he decides that he no longer wants to marry you, and he takes off. Wait, wait, wait. Can I call him back and see if he'll go, um, talk to that girl inside? Can you talk to Bella and fall in love with her or something? Well, I think he's probably, that's probably the next girl he's gonna fall in love with. Okay. Yeah, I expect that to happen anyway. 
In any case, Master Milo sticks his head inside and says, Are you, are you maids done yet? Oh, wait, Bigfoot was inside the house? Bigfoot ran inside. Were you guys all inside? Um, yeah, yeah. Oh. Sorry, I don't know why I was picturing outside. Yeah, oh, well. so, uh, but Master Milo says, Are you done yet? I, I'm running out of things to talk about with this crazy guy. Did you not just see that Bigfoot that ran by? You can talk about that. Can I can I go out and ask Master Milo if he knows a show tune that starts with some <laughs> three words? Oh, good idea. Okay, uh, you go outside and you ask Master Milo. Okay, roll. You get a luck roll. Oh, I get a luck roll. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, I got a five. Oh, but you got a six, and therefore um, he doesn't know. Oh. Hi. He, he, um, he he's remembers that, you know, like, the letter E. E? Yeah, there's a letter E in the name of that song. Yeah, that's the song. Awesome. Yeah, so he just hums, he hum, hums the uh, first two lines of the song for you. That was that. Fantastic. So he asked, what's, what's going on now? What do you, what are we going to do? Are we going to, are we going to do something? We have to find the vampires. Yeah, that might isn't be a good certain idea. vampire princess gonna Wait, we don't know a she's princess who's a vampire? Okay, so you guys all decide to leave and you go back to the stump and you can go east or to the west. To the east is the cave and to the west is the lake. Anna, where do vampires live? Lake or cave? Uh, cave. Cave, okay. Right. You guys go east to the cave in vampire territory. So you go to the okay, cave, we have Anna. and uh, sitting in front of the cave is Eddie, or Edward. He is oh, dear he God. is dead sexy. He is the sexiest man you have ever seen. Uh, hi. Hello. Hey, Edward. So does he recognize that you are a vampire princess? Yes. Speaking of the vampire princess, you know you were sent to kill the master, right? Oh, yeah. Yes, I do. Now can I not change the time to, to like come. just spying on him? Because I don't know if I can like actually work that in by like okay, so still like kill him. You were sent by, let's say, um, the Gillette Shaving Company to make sure that this plan for Ooh. beards would fail, because your company okay. wants everybody to shave every single day. <laughs> I'm I'm hopefully getting paid a lot for this. You are being paid quite handsomely to betray the master. But getting back to uh, Eddie the Vampire, because you are a princess who happens to be a vampire and not a vampire princess, he doesn't have to obey your every command. Okay, okay. Does he recognize that I'm a vampire, though, then? Um, why don't you bare your fangs a little bit and show that you're a vampire? Okay. Bleh. Whoa! Bleh. <laughs> It's like, ah, hey, you hey. must be one of the vampires that moved in for the big battle. Um, yeah, sure. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, that makes, uh, I mean, with you here, that would be 92 vampires. We are totally going to kick some werewolf butt. Should, should we hide? Should we hide? Yeah, should we there hide? There are 92 vampires in here. Are they, have we established if they're all the, air quotes, vegetarian vampires in Twilight? No, these are, no, well, these are real vampires, thank you. Oh, we might want right, to hide, should, guys. Okay. We should hide. We're, we're Anna, legit. scope out what's going Anna, on. Anna, you take we're care of this. Hide. We're going to go back. A little bit. Okay. Because we're, we're good. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm backing up. I don't know about you guys. Okay, so, uh, I mean, Edward says, it's like, uh, it's like, don't worry, though. There's probably not going to be any sort of war, because obviously Bella is going to choose to marry me, because I'm the most handsome. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, there was this Bigfoot earlier. Seriously? Seriously? He just, he just, he just slaps you. Ooh. No, I'm not kidding. There was seriously Bigfoot. He was looking for someone. He says, oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> okay, well. No, I don't know what to do. <laughs> well, no, make a cunning roll. Just say that you cunningly try to convince him. Okay, she okay. has a cunning of zero. Oh, um, yeah. So zero times wow. zero roll is zero, and he gets a one times a one, so he beats you. One over zero. Wow. Uh, I think Thanks. we hit a wall here. What, what are we going to any... do now? I don't he know. He seems pretty, uh, I mean, Edward doesn't seem too uh, interested in you. He's just busy chilling out, waiting for the woman of his dreams to appear. And, you know, 
he's got his crew of 91 other vampires to help attack if she makes the wrong decision. Oh. Okay. That didn't work out well. So have we uh, established what any of this has to do with finding the beard amulet? Can someone ask? Yeah, Anna, you should probably ask about that. So, do you know any vampires with really awesome beards? Because, um, there's this beard amulet that we're looking for. Well, he says, nobody's allowed to have better looking facial hair than me, but I think one of the humans, yeah, humans grow beards. That's or one of those hairy, nasty werewolves. Ugh, yeah, yeah, but vampires are always clean shaven. All right. Okay. Well, that rules out 92 people for us. You bite somebody's neck and suck out their blood. It, it's not cool if you have a beard because, you know, it gets all scratchy and stuff. That's a very valid point. Yeah, you get blood all over your beard. But I would look dead hot with a goatee. Uh-huh, sure. Did you point, me, point us in the direction of where the, where the werewolves are? The werewolves hang out by that creepy lake. All right. All right. Cool. We'll have fun with that war planning, I guess. Okay, fantastic. So I guess I we're guess heading to the lake now, to the or... Lake. Now, Do we have on the way out of his cave, on the way out of his cave, I would like to drop a match near the closest uh, wooden forest. <laughs> <laughs> the whole forest on Ooh, fire. I like that plan. You are a pyromaniac. Okay, so um, what are you setting on fire again? Uh, just whatever the closest piece of furniture is. I just kind of casually drop a match next. To it's sort of a cave, but let's say that there is um, a sofa. I assume he's. I assume he's made it his home in some way. Um, no. I mean, this is just temporary place where they're uh, preparing for battle. Cause it's close to the uh, werewolves. Well, aren't all the vampires all wearing capes? Can you just set someone's cape on fire and start a giant? You know. Yeah. Everyone's capes start okay, catching yeah. on fire. Yeah, legit vampires wear capes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Edward's cape has a little heart on it. It says Team Edward. We should burn Let's that. Burn it. Burn, burn it. it. His yeah. cape is burned. Um, unfortunately. Before he is killed, um, he rips off his clothing. He has a bad habit of stripping, Run. so, I mean, he has no problem whatsoever in flinging off his burning clothing. So I'm gonna run away. So, run. you guys keep leaving. Leave the scene. You continue leaving, and you go past the, uh, you go past the stump, and you are now in a werewolf territory near the lake. There is a boat here. You know, you might wanna hide. You can see a... Fancy yeah, cast? I, I'm just gonna hang back. Do we have uh, anyone? There is no one in sight. Oh. All you see is this. You see the sailboat and, uh, you know, the fancy castle in the distance. Ooh. That's fine. I'm assuming the werewolves are in the castle. Maybe. Or, I kind of feel like that castle might be important. <laughs> yeah, it's at the end of Transylvania, that's how you beat the game, is by going across the yeah, going well, to the I, castle. I, 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 Oh, That's why it's there. Oh. Sorry, it's it's there because it's in the game. It's not actually important. Oh, okay. <laughs> we go there anyway. Okay, so you uh, are about to touch the boat when a sexy, sexy beast just oh, hops yeah. out of the water. He is wearing um, just a pair of swim trunks, and he says, "Hello, ladies. My name's Jacob." Hey. And then he does that little Hi. growl thing. Of... <laughs> does he have hey. a beard? He does not have a beard. Oh. Who's going to take point on this one? I see uh, we're all itching. Uh, I... Okay, mate Bob, Wait. he is going to try to seduce you. Roll, what are you going to roll uh. for? <laughs> okay, no answer in time. You're going to roll for uh, luck. Okay. None of my stats were good for this. Yeah. Alright, rolling for luck. I got a one. This is not going to end well. Hey, okay, <laughs> so you take seven stress. Ooh. Oh, dear. You're completely enamored with um, Werewolf Jacob. He is the sexiest man you've ever seen, and you uh, you stroll up to him and you just start patting his arm, just running your arm around along his arm. Does anyone want to help me here? I kind of just watched this for a while. I, I think uh, can I, I, I think I'm just gonna stand here and be immobilized. Can I use my coolness and composure, uh, my unflappableness, as it's described in my uh, character sheet, to walk up and uh, separate the two of these 
and then ask some questions. Roll for luck. luck? <laughs> I got a three. Oh, and he got a four. Okay, so now you at oh. 15 stress. Five more stress, and then you are going to have to go into your compulsive gambling habit. Oh, no. Oh, wait. What, what happened? Is he, he beat here? you. Oh, no. Now, you you all, you were about to step forward and break the two up and, you know, slap Bob around and say, hey, what's wrong with you? But then you notice that Jacob is dead sexy. Dear God. You grab his other arm and you start patting it. Okay, so who's left? Christina, me, and Pat? Yeah. Mm. Alright, I'll jump in and get him out of there. Okay, so um, what stat are you going to roll? I'll roll athletics. Athletics. How is this athletic? <laughs> <laughs> I, I got a one in the face. <laughs> so, okay. So, no, I mean, how is it athletics? I want to hear your defense. Uh, just to jump in and try and grab him away before they, or before I notice how he looks. Oh, a, a six. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, so, um, wow. Okay, you hit your stress limit. He did really, really well. You hit your stress limit now, and, um, you pull out a bottle of alcohol and start drinking. <laughs> And you are going to be drunk for the next 10 minutes because you have 10 stress. I mean, 10 stress. Oh, oh goodness. Oh. Actually, let's make it 13 minutes. All so, right. Uh, okay, 10 or 13 minutes. I'll, I'll decide. Somebody right. do something. Somebody can try to talk to him <laughs> rather than, you know, uh, try to uh, kill him or something. I'm trying to figure out how I can best handle this. Oh, meet Milo, step. I uh, not made Milo. Master Milo, who is not attracted to the sexy man. Oh well, that's helpful. Decides to step forward because all his maids are, you know, three of his maids are, two of his maids are um, hanging on this other guy. The other one's drunk. One of them is drinking. <laughs> one of them is just drinking in the corner. You're drinking and um, oh, you're vividly remembering the death of your lover because oh god, you remember it drunk. <laughs> All right, so what, is, what does Milo say? Master Milo says, Hey, dude, could you put on a shirt? <laughs> and he says, Sure, why not? Just <laughs> let me, uh, well, wait a minute. Then he flexes his arms to show off his fantastic biceps. Oh, dear God. <laughs> his uh, his six-pack abs. And uh, Master Milo starts to drool a little bit. Oh my god! <laughs> He's thinking about the cake that he didn't get to finish. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's, fine. That's fine. And, um, yeah. It's me and Christina, right? Yeah. <laughs> you want to try something? Alright, uh, I'm trying to figure out what's the worst that can happen if, uh, since I'm sexy type, I try and seduce him and get information. Ooh, but you can try to seduce him. What's, what's gonna happen if I fail? That's my problem. Can we distract him with a certain vampire? Might that, uh... Oh dear, that might end badly. That <laughs> would definitely, um, be a possible. Anna, you comfortable with that? <laughs> sure. That's probably a better idea. Unless it doesn't work. In which case, run. Well, okay, I'll... All right. What? Um, do 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 Uh, who's going to try to distract him? For, wait, distract him for what? Um, is somebody going to try to distract him or seduce him? Because whoever's going to seduce him, I can what? get you an outfit. That's really tempting. There are, uh, gonna... I mean, I can roll for a maid outfit right here. 3-3. Three, three. Okay, so 3-3. Three, three. You are wearing a nun costume. Okay, no, not going to work. Uh, <laughs> only the cool or the hero can wear this costume, though. Oh, well, I'm not. Okay, never mind. Let's roll for another uh, outfit. I just, now I just want to know what I'm wearing. Hmm, well, I can't have you wear the master's outfit. Okay, let's go with tight striped <laughs> bikini with horns. What? <laughs> <laughs> with horns? Yeah, with horns. Or a tiger striped bikini with horns. This is your seduction outfit. Um, let's say that made Diana, you're still around, right? Yeah. Okay, so you're sexy, and you pull out this outfit outside of your uh, adventure game pants. Alright. But here's, here's the problem, though. Um, you have to speak in a southern accent whenever you wear this uh, particular oh, outfit. Oh, dear God. Uh, Why on earth I... is this in the rules? I'm sorry, what? 
it's it's something that's Japanese. It says you must speak in the Ni Niigata dialect or sound like a southerner. Hmm. Like, how, how, I'm, just, I'm trying to weigh my options right now. So you could try to send... Anna, would you be able to outrun him if it went badly? <laughs> my, my athletics is one, so I don't believe so. But you get sexy, so I'll give you a plus one to whatever skill you're going to try to use, and um, a plus three for the outfit. Mm. What do you guys think? I say take the outfit and try to seduce him. I think it's possible. Alright. Yeah. I'll do cunning, which will give me a four in cunning if I take the plus one. Well, no, you're getting a three plus a plus three, so you're actually going to be rolling with a seven. I'll do the cutting. Okay. I got a six. You got a six. This time You're seven, gonna believe that I got a six. And he is rolling... Okay, he's rolling an eight. So 42 is greater than eight. <laughs> he is now <laughs> under your thumb. Great. All right, he well... He uh... look at the tiger striped bikini and goes, Ooh la la. And he throws the other maids aside. Ah! And says, Hey... I fall into the water. And all my life, you sexy one-eyed bunny shapeshifter. Yeah, I know. I was gonna say I still have like bunny ears. It's awkward. Hi. Now, while this is going on, can I sneak back to the old man's house and go get Bella to bring her here and hide and show her what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, do it. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah, you can do it. Then that's what I do. Okay, um, I'll, I'll give you a minute to do that. And speaking of which, um, made made Pat, you're still drinking, right? Oh you're yeah, still you're still drinking. Are you gonna do anything besides drink? Uh, I'm gonna reel around for a little bit and stumble. Sounds good. Picturing stumbling around in the background. I'm, I'm picturing this all right now. <laughs> it's pretty weird. So, what's going on with the sexy, sexy vampire? I mean, uh, werewolf. You got to keep it up until Christina gets back. Yeah, I know. So I sit down on like a rock or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. By the lake. And I ask him, I just, I get right down to it, I just ask him if he knows anyone with a fabulous beard, which of course is not any more fabulous than your flowing hair, but, I mean, you know. You have to ask him in a southern accent. I can't, I can't do a southern accent. I'm so bad at accents. I gotta just say y'all, it'll be okay. Y'all. Uh... Do you know anyone with a really fantastic beard? Which, of course, is not more fantastic than your flowing hair. But it's just something I need to know. No, oh, she tried. She tried. We'll, we'll give her that. I, don't, don't make me do it again. <laughs> Please. Please don't make me do it again. The only gorgeous thing I see around here is you. Oh, great. He says. And then he, uh, he actually um, grabs your bunny ear and starts patting it. Like, you know how, um, you know, like, cats will, like, paw at a piece of string? Christina, you better hurry up. Starts par he starts pawing at your, um, at your, at your ears. I, I kind of just, kind of just sit there for a little bit and just, like, let him. Okay, and Maid Christina, um, she's, she's coming along her way when, uh, Maid Sean, who is drunk, just stumbles, <laughs> stumbles right into them, stumbles right into her. Ugh. Will someone go help Damn them, it, please? Pat. Watch where you're going. <laughs> yes. Uh, I get I, up I, and I go... I go help uh, Maid Pat. Okay, so you help Maid Pat. Dunk her under the water. That's supposed to help. And in comes uh, Maid Christina with, with Bella. And uh, Bella sees um, Jacob. And he is now... Um... And I'm like sitting awkwardly close to him because I see Bella coming. And I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> he, he is now um, playing with your little bunny tail. Oh dear god, get away from me. <laughs> he, makes, he makes a lewd comment about Playboy bunnies when, um... What's her face? Bella. Bella appears and she gasps. She goes, oh, Jacob! What are you doing? I scoot away a little bit. <laughs> and he says, oh, Bella, it, it's not what it looks like. I'm not sitting here with the most sexy girl in the world. <laughs> I just I just give him a look. So I looked at says the only thing that'll fix this is an amulet. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Okay, so um, Bella is going to need a little bit of assurance that Diana, I mean, that May Diana is not just some sort of floozy. So, roll. What do you want to roll for? What You want to convince her that you're just a normal girl and he's coming on to you. Does an affection my... have to do with <laughs> bonds? Uh, I'm going to roll for cunning again. Okay, you're rolling for cunning because you're trying to fool her. Unfortunately, she's not very smart. Uh, I got a two by three to Wow, okay, she got a, a three and two, so that's a six. We roll again with a different stat. Roll for luck. Uh -huh. Luck is... oh, God. <laughs> I'm gonna roll for skill, because you'll have an easier time winning with skill. Uh, how much does she have for luck? Um, she got... has two luck, same as you. I just got a ten for luck. Okay, so, um, you are super lucky, you are fantastic, and she totally believes you. And she says, you know what? I've made my decision. I am not going to marry Mr. Vampire. I, I mean, I'm not going to marry you stupid werewolf. You're horrible. I am going to marry my vampire friend. And Sean, you're not, I mean, made Pat. You're not drunk anymore. Oh, sweet. Guess what? You, 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 you've, sobered, you've sobered up now. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to go put some clothes on. Okay, so roll for skill. I have to have skill to change my clothes. Well, I okay. mean, these are adventure game pants. They're hard to put on. Good point. <laughs> I got a three. Okay, let's see if I can roll something. Whoa! Ooh, that's a six! Okay, so you trip and fall flat on your face. That sounds like me. Okay, three stress. Yeah, you lose three HP for tripping and falling on your face. <laughs> But then you manage to get your pants on, so that's good. Okay, that's that's acceptable. <laughs> All right, so now what? So, so did Bella leave. Bella Bella marches off, and she uh, marches off to the vampire territory, straight to tell the vampire that she has fallen in love with him, and then she will not marry Mister um, Werewolf. So instead of, uh, I think we just caused a war. Instead of pre preventing one, guys. You did cause war, and um, you know um. Jacob howls, and a bunch of werewolves appear, and I'm calling a random event. Uh. Oh, wow, number two. Uh, cool. So, um, Midna from Legend of Zelda Twilight oh, Princess appears. And she... Hey, Midna. Because you guys are in the Twilight Zone, huh? Oh, that makes sense. Uh. So she she is riding a wolf, and she says... <laughs> Does anybody speak her language? Uh, no. Anybody want to roll for something? What would that be? Cunning? Yeah, what would that be? You can decide. I think it's cunning. It's because it has to do with knowledge. Okay. Or I luck. have three of that. I'll, I'll Should roll. I do that? Uh, you know, luck or cunning, I'll accept that. Will. You could just do strain, straight willpower. Who's uh, rolling? Who wants to roll? I have three cunning. I'll go. Yeah, go for it. Okay, for it. All right. so, um, roll. And, and you win. Three times three is nine. You win. Okay. Mate, Bob, you, um, you're rolling for cunning. Okay, so you understand what she says. She says, howdy. Hi. You guys here for the battle? Hello. Uh, oh, she's here for the battle? Yeah, she's wondering if you guys are here for the battle, because she's, she's got her wolf. She heard there's some sort of wolf battle going on. Oh. Uh, not exactly. No. <laughs> okay, so she's asking, well, then, then what's going on? I don't know. What is going on? <laughs> Vampires versus werewolves. Vampires versus werewolves in an epic battle, which is going over, uh, which is happening, um, let's say, north of here. We have a, a giant field where the battle is taking place, and you guys are just talking to her while the battle is going on inside this giant field. Wait, wait. The battle's already going on? Yeah, the battle's ongoing. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh... And uh, the vampires are winning the battle because, um, obviously, they were chosen as the sexy creature of the year. That's the problem. So, uh, Minna's looking at the battle, and she's seeing that the battle is not going very well for the wolves. So she's, she's saying, eh, maybe I should go back home. This looks like a dangerous place for wolves, especially this stupid one I'm riding. Hey, he's not stupid. Yeah, he <laughs> growls at her, and then she just smacks him on the head. That's stupid. <laughs> yeah, I like Link. Does this wolf have a beard? The wolf does not have a beard, but it has a fashionable earring. Does Midnight know ring? anything about the 
the beard amulet. Beard amulet. She doesn't know anything. She's trying to get the magical suit of armor so she can defeat the evil king's aunt. It was worth a try. You could ask her if she knows any werewolves with awesome beards. Um, she says there's some like crazy, not crazy, but she know she says there's some kind of monstrously tall human person who has a fantastic beard. Can you <sighs> point us in the direction of this person? She points directly north. Okay. That way. Is this... You've got the huge battle going on in the meantime, and the battle is almost over at this uh... point, actually. Oh. Well, okay. Thanks, Minda. Okay, so she rides off, and Master Milo says, okay, let's find the beard guy. Can we skirt the battle? You guys go forward, you guys up, and uh, the battle is over now. Oh, that's, uh. that's fun. That was fast. <laughs> the wolves have been killed, and now you have oh. 51 vampires. And they're they're busy screaming uh, and hooting and hollering about their victory, when all of a sudden, um, what's the name of the vampire? Edward. He looks at you, Miss Vampire uh, Princess. Uh huh. You're gonna have to roll here. Roll for luck. Uh oh. Luck. Okay. Um, I got fifteen. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So, um, you're taking five damage here. He notices that you're hanging out with six humans. Uh-oh. And all the vampires have bloodlust, and um, he says, ah, 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 ah. Wait, no, he doesn't say that. He's not the werewolf. He says, You humans! We must kill you! Wait, I thought he was a good... He was, thought he was a vegetarian vampire. What happened to that? So he steps forward. He, he is stepping forward when um, suddenly a hatchet appears in the side of his head. Oh, goodness. And all of a sudden... So everybody everybody turns, you guys all turn dramatically to the left, and you see a uh, tall man with a stovepipe hat, a beard. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no way. He steps forward and grabs the uh, hatchet, and he says, I am Abraham Lincoln, vamp hunter. <laughs> Yay, we're saved! Wow. Oh, shit. All the vampires are looking furious now because um, he just killed the lead vampire. So he turns to you and says, I'll take four score and seven. You take the other vampires. Oh, boy. So we have to fight now? Yep. This is the big battle. This is the end of the level. Yay! So, um, four score and seven, that's um, 87. And there are 87, vampires. Yeah. We just killed the leader, meaning 90. So there are three vampires for you to fight. Wow. Well, roll for initiative. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so the three vampires show up. These vampires are called Mo, Larry, and Curly. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> oh goodness. So, um, let me see. Who's going to be attacked first? Oh, I'd like to. I'd like to. I'm going to roll three. <laughs> okay, Probably. so the attackers are um, uh, Christina, Joseph, I mean Bob. Christina, Bob, and Pat. All right. Okay, so Mo, Larry, and Curly, let's go. Uh, how closely <laughs> together are they standing? <laughs> they, um, I, I don't know. I mean, they, the, the three of them attack those three particular maids, and I guess they all attack. They all attack at the same time. So, Christina, what are you going to roll for? I will roll for, uh, Will. Will. Okay, so you're rolling Will. I got a four. You got a four. So, um, you take on Mo and you just, bam, one hit with your bazooka and he goes down. <laughs> okay, uh, Bob, you are fighting Larry. What, what are you doing? Okay. So, uh, I'll use athletics. Athletics. Okay, that's a crappy roll. I want to make this a more interesting battle. Okay, there. And I got a six times three is eighteen. Okay, um, you are you apparently set a trap ahead of time. Larry falls right into this trap, and now his leg is caught in the bear trap, and he is taken out. He falls over. Wow! Wow! You guys are these are horrible enemies. Okay, made Pat. All right, I'm just gonna extend my claws and dash in and take a swing at whatever one's left. Okay, you are attacking Curly. Okay, so. I mean, which stat are you going to use for this? I'll use athletics. Okay. And and I got another one. 
Okay, you two are tied. So I'm going to say that um, you managed to get him in the side of the head. Okay. But he pokes you in the eyes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you two in the eyes, I'm sorry to say. And you are taking four extra damage from that. Oh. Okay, so um, we only have one of these um, guys left. Curly is the only one standing. Um, roll for luck there, Pat. Uh, three. Okay, so he decides to attack you again. Okay, so you're going to go with athletics again? I'll go with athletics, just flailing around blindly. Okay. <laughs> and I got a two. Ooh, okay. Eight, and he got a twelve, so that's four. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for you now. Um, you hit your stress level again, and um, you just go down, and now you just grab your bottle of alcohol which is still in your um, pocket, and you start drinking again. Ah. So Maid Sean is down for the count. Okay, so who is going to be attacked next? Curly goes, nyak, 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 lose that. Oh and he turns on Anna. Anna, ooh. Oh, of no. course. Okay, Anna, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when the cheese is on you? I could try the, the psychic power, my mind control power. Cool, what, my, what you gonna do with that? Make him Good slap try. himself. Yeah. I'll do that. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> Poke himself in the eyes. Yeah. Make him slap himself. Okay. Um, okay. And... Oh, okay. So he manages to resist the psychic power. Oh. His mind oh, no. is so tiny that you have a hard time getting a grip on it. <laughs> Dang it. And you are actually going to take two damage. Because, you know, psychic powers don't come cheap. Well, that didn't work out so well. So let's see if he's going to attack you again. Uh, roll for luck. Uh, three. <laughs> he does not attack you again. He's attacking somebody else. Alright. He's attacking Maid Bob. Alright. Should I use my special weapon? Yes. Well, I'm Can I blow him up? Okay. What do I need to do for that? Oh, a tie. Okay. Um, let's say you both take six damage. Um, okay, so Maid Bob, you also are stressed out now. You hit your stress limit, and now you are violent. Oh, God. Run away. I got bombs. Okay, so you are violent, and you decide you run off and start fighting the uh, vampires along with Abraham Lincoln, the vampire hunter, because <laughs> you're just a violent person. Bye, everybody. Bye. Go blow up some vampires. But fortunately, in the meantime, that, that final bomb near Curly manages to um, defeat him. And Mo, Larry, and Curly are lying on the ground. And they, they, they're they moaning for a second about how horrible their lives are when they decide to use their ultimate power. Oh, God. <laughs> the three of them morph together and form a giant stooge. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious, yes. So now you have a giant stooge on the loose. Great. Well. And he is going to attack, uh, he was going to attack Pat, but Pat is um, currently drunk, so that's probably not. I'm drunk, I don't even care. Come and attack. <laughs> I don't even care. So he's going after Maid Diana. I figured. Uh, I'm going to use my skill with my sword and just do like a little spin attack thing. Like they do in Legend of Zelda, because I'm cool that way. Okay, cool. Yep. So, um, what do you I don't roll? think you can actually do that with a katana, but whatever. We're going with it. I got a three. Times three is nine. Okay, so, um, he takes eight damage. Sweet. He's at, um, oh, I can't tell you how many HP. That wouldn't be as fun. <laughs> it's no. going to attack you again. Roll for luck. Uh, two times two is four. Okay, he's going to attack you again. Dang it. Okay. Can I do the same thing again? Yeah, wh which, which stat were you using? Skill. Skill. Cool. Roll again. Yeah, five times three is fifteen. Okay. Wow. You, you, do, you do a huge damage with it, to him with your... Uh, yeah. Use your uh, bunny powers to hop over him, actually, and smack him from behind. That's awesome. Okay, so roll for luck to see if he's going to attack again. Uh, two times three is six. Okay, he decides not to attack you again. He decides to attack you. Good choice. He is attacking Anna. 
sorry about that. I'll try mind control again. Okay. I got a four. Okay, so, um... Uh, do, 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 do. You try mind control, you uh, trip him up, he falls on the ground. Okay, so, uh, you want to attack him again? Sure. Now that he's lying helpless. Which skill are you going to use? Or which stat? Um, so do I have a weapon? You have psychic power. That's your weapon. Okay, that's it. All right. I'll make him punch himself in the face. I'll use skill. Okay, you're going to try for that. Uh, ten. Okay, um, he punches himself in the face repeatedly saying, Hey, uh, it, quit punching yourself. Quit punching yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> but he's still not dead. He's looking like he's on the ropes, but he's still not dead. Does anybody want to step in here? Uh, okay. I haven't done anything. What are you going to attack with? Uh, I'm going to bust out my tonfas. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to use athletics to do a jump and hit him in the face. Okay, roll. Uh, I got four times three is twelve. You got twelve. Okay, you have killed the evil stooge. Oh. Uh, I I stand with uh, my back to the sun uh, with the wind in my hair, you know, looking cool. <laughs> Very cool. And uh, guess who's also done with uh, killing people? Abraham Lincoln, the vampire hunter. And Bob. Uh, and Bob. And Bob. And uh, Abraham Lincoln, he shows up, and he says, Hello there! Hello there! Oh, looks like you did a good job killing those three stooges. And he stands majestically and starts stroking his beard. Oh, it's quite the nice beard. Someone needs to there. get the amulet. Yes, it is a nice beard. I, I am one of the three mythical beard keepers. So, oh. about that, uh, we're kind of on a quest to save the world. And we were sent to find the three mythical beards. What do you call it? Pastors. I'm we sorry, have what? The, we have the amulet part, don't we? Have we have the amulet. Yes. Well, I thought that we put the, the amulet part and show it to him, and he is very impressed. He reaches inside his vest and pulls out the second part of the amulet. Shouldn't it be in his hat? No, it's inside the vest. He keeps beard amulets close to his heart. So! You get... The magical beard amulet. Hooray. Yeah. Victory. And a door, I guess a doorway appears on the floor. <laughs> leading to the next level of the basement. Jump. Okay, Master Yay. opens it up and he says, Thank you very much, Abe. Thank you very much. And they Thank all you. jump down to the next level. Hooray. We did it. Yay. 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 Okay, and the Broadway tune was Some Enchanted Evening. Oh, I don't. I actually don't know that one though. So yeah, I don't know that one either. Yeah, no clue. It, it's an old one. South Pacific. That's what it's from. No. Oh, Just look. Oh up. yeah. Oh, I knew that. Next time on the Game Cola RPG Cast, we go to yet another level based off a video game none of our mates have played. This time, the level is based off of Treasure Map Store. It's also based off the of Secret of Mana a little bit, so you can look forward to seeing Santa Claus, elves, and of course, a trivia challenge. That's next time on the Game Cola RPG cast. For now, the Game Cola RPG is over. This truly is the end, cause he's gone and it's totally over.